recording. Camera rolling. London is a station. It's a place to get your tunnel vision, to grow, to learn, to focus. Such a hectic city, in which at the same time, it might be the only place where you can be whoever you want to be. So I picked up my camera and started creating. Creating my own way, creating my own world. A world in which I decide what's happening. A world that you can see from my eyes, from my lens. Which might be the only way that someone will be able to understand me. Do you see this bureau? I'm so satisfied with it. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments what do you think about this bureau because I'm so I was so excited to shoot it. I was so excited to get this lens, which I honestly think is the best lens. Period. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I need to welcome you back and Introduce myself properly as the many new subscribers and I'm so excited. I couldn't thank you enough because this page is growing and I couldn't be happier. I'm investing time, I'm getting the work done, making the videos for you and honestly, I just want to say thank you. Last week we hit 300 subscribers. Let's try to hit 400 subscribers by the end of February. I think that's doable. But it's not why we're all gathered here today in my little flat. We gathered here to talk about the Sigma 35 millimeters 1.4. First time I used this lens was a year ago, a bit more than a year ago. I borrowed it from a friend used it on my Canon M50 back then, so it was cropped. The Canon M50 is a cropped sensor camera, so every lens that you will put on it, it will crop the image by 1.6. So if you put a 35 millimeter lens on a cropped sensor camera, it will be, it will be 56 millimeters. This lens is the 50 millimeters, so even more cropped, like closer than that. Now, I'm not gonna talk to you about the specifics, how many, blades, uh, how much it weighs, I mean this stuff never interested me. Um, this is the lens, I bought it brand new. It's a fixed focal lens, uh, it's called a prime lens. It has a very nice smooth focus ring here. You have this button of the manual and autofocus. You have this sign here that says Art. It's the Art lens series. Um, this series is so sharp, I would even say it's like the equivalent to the L series of Canon. Um, previously I owned the 18 to 35 which was amazing but it was for cropped frames so if I put it on my Canon EOS R right now you would have seen this like like a vignette around it unless I shoot 4k. Why did I choose this lens? I chose this lens because back then when I shot on it with my Canon M50 it was the sharpest thing I've ever used. It sounds funny, I used the knife in the past. It was the sharpest lens I've ever shot on. It's heavy, it's solid. Um, Probably because it has a lot of glass, lenses that have a lot of glass I usually produce better quality stuff. Yes, I mean, I, you saw, you watched the video, it was smooth, the focus on it, the focus is, a, focus is amazing. The focus is amazing, I barely ever miss focus. Uh, I don't know, I mean, it's still an EF mount, so when I put it on my camera I need to use an adapter, which I use right now with the 50mm lens. But yeah, the fact that I need to use an adapter is annoying, but at the same time, I'm still not at the point that I can afford an RF lens. Now, I know I know what you're all saying. There is a 35 millimeter RF lens, but it's 1.8, first of all. And second of all, 
it's not as sharp but so many reviews that i watched on youtube and i saw comparison of the photos it's not even close to be as sharp some people prefer this on the ef canon ver version the 1.4 but the most important thing this lens did not leave my camera until now because i need to show you the lens so but apart from that for two weeks already it doesn't leave my camera now why do i choose the 35 millimeter focal length it's not too wide but it's wide enough it's not too tight you can get like nice depth fulfilled with it i'll just put a shot on the screen right now so you just so you can understand the bokeh that you get with it the 1.4 when i'm saying 1.4 i mean the the aperture the blurred background i mean the blurred background the lower the number the more blurred the background so the on 1.4 it's very easy to miss focus but with this lens I feel like it's so accurate and it focuses so good on the subject yeah it's very reliable so yeah why what is this lens good for if you are shooting street photography portrait photography architecture photography it's good for everything I even done some product with it because it gives you the right perspective I feel like the 35 millimeter is so close to what we see with our own eyes and once I started shooting with it I just couldn't stop because I, I can get a very nice portrait with it the background is blurred the bokeh is clean I can get lookup shots I have enough space between me and the subject to take the picture and not to be super tight when everything is cropped behind and it looks like there's no space to breathe also I like my gear bigger and heavier I feel I like feeling my camera beefy this is one of the reasons I didn't go to Sony and bought a Sony camera although like everybody it's very trendy right now and everybody uses Sony cameras and um, I prefer my Canon one because it's bigger and this is heavier and it feels like I'm holding something in my hand now some would argue that this lens is very good better for photos some would say it's better for videos I feel like this lens covers everything I mean it has one downside for video it doesn't have stabilization in the lens and I don't have like the IBIS in my camera because sh I'm shooting on the Canon R so I'm using the digital stabilization and I'm happy with it most of the times it's good and reliable I use the camera handle and yeah it's good enough I'm being able to produce steady videos nice smooth without some unnecessary shake and it's all fixable on Premiere Pro after so yeah I'm happy with it rather than that there's no much to say about this lens so many things that you can do with it all the shots that you saw on this video were taken with the 35 millimeters obviously apart from the shots that I took of the actual lens I add at the end now a few more shots uh, that I'm, I'm taking with this camera just so you can see what it is like how the focus is like what what's the general feel the oomph that you get from this lens and yes guys the price factor of this lens if you compare the price of this lens against let's say the 50mm 1.2 uh, RF of Canon I think it's something around uh, like 2000 pounds and something and this lens is 600 pounds more or less compared to 2000 it's insane it's insane and i can't i can't think of a better quality image than this camera honestly so i'm super happy with it couldn't ask for anything better guys by the way something that i wanted to talk to you about last week i decided to open a new instagram after falling on a bad list of instagram's algorithm i decided to open a new instagram now i had 2000 followers and now I started from the beginning, I'm around 350 followers right now. Hopefully you guys seeing this video can go on my Instagram, which is down in the description. Support me there, help me to recover this page. Right guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like below, comment, tell me what your thoughts on this lens. What is your favorite focal length to shoot on? 35 is mine. Share this video if you feel like, and I will see you in the next week. We're off.